heavy downpours slowed life in Mumbai. Other parts of Maharashtra continue to receive persistent showers too. Union Minister Piyush Goyal says India is looking forward to investments in nine more projects from Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Mumbai visit tomorrow will inaugurate third annual meeting of Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Thank you, Rukma. Hi, and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. I'm Shama Mishra. Let's see the news in detail. Heavy and continuous showers across Maharashtra brought daily life in most cities of the state to a standstill. Heavy rains resulted in waterlogging at several regions in and around Mumbai, including Kalina, Miti River Bridge, in Kurla, Santa Cruz Chamber Link Road, Dadar Hinmata. The city has recorded rainfall of 231 mm since last morning. The Indian Meteorological Department predicted the city will continue to host heavy to very heavy rains. A wall of an under construction building in Mumbai's Wadala area collapsed around dawn. Several cars were damaged and over 200 residents of the Loyal Estate Housing Complex in Antofil were evacuated. At least three people, including a 13-year-old boy, have been reported to be killed because of incessant downpours since morning. Nashik, Konkan, Ratnagiri, Sindhudurg and Palghar have also been receiving persistent rains for the past few days. Union Minister for Railways, Coal, Finance and Corporate Affairs, Piyush Goyal, said that India is looking forward to investments in nine more projects from Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank after having picked up almost 28% of the bank's total lending so far of 1.4 billion US dollars for seven projects. The finance minister was addressing press today on the sidelines of the third annual meeting of Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, which began in Mumbai today. Welcoming delegates from 86 countries, Goel pointed out that in just three short years, India has hosted three major events for international multilateral banks, the New Development Bank, African Development Bank, and now the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank in quick succession. Lauding AIIB for its robust processes, Goel said that it is a matter of great pride that a concept that was floated in 2014 was able to mature six to seven months and by 2015 we had a multilateral development bank in place with India being the second largest stakeholder with over 8% stake. I think that has been one of the most important elements of the change that we are witnessing today. A, the change in governments and governance practices. B, also the change in the mindset of the people of the country. There's a lot more accountability demanded. There's a lot more monitoring of the work you are doing. And there's action taken as something goes wrong. While addressing the seminar on forging collaboration and partnership, evolving strategies and collective actions, Chief Economic Advisor Arvind Subramaniam today said that nowadays there is a new buzz of multilateral institutions everywhere but are they solving the main issue is a major question. He further said that the role of multilateral development bank is not just to provide finance, but also to help with know-how to execute the project is also important. Professor Nicholas Stern, former chief economist, World Bank, said that world infrastructure double, will double in next 15 years and the economy will double in 20 years. While speaking in a panel on infra projects under AIIB, population of towns will roughly double in 40 years and most cities will be shaped in next 20 years. Expressing his estimation on huge changes on different layers across the world, he said the scale of infra investment over the next 15 years would be extremely large, but translating the opportunities into apt execution would be a major task. Structure transit to solar grid and CM war rooms to drive decisions to avoid cost escalation and ensure timely completion are among some top initiatives taken by the government, he said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in Mumbai for inaugurating the third annual meeting of AIIB tomorrow. The theme for this year's meeting is mobilizing finance for infrastructure, innovation and collaboration that is witnessing leaders from varied organizations and levels of government to share ideas for experiences for creating a sustainable future through sound infrastructure investment. 
Modi will also address a BJP party event that aims to express gratitude towards those who fought against the emergency in 1975 and dwell upon conserving the democratic values. Voting for the biennial elections of four seats in Maharashtra Legislative Council was held today for the Mumbai graduates, Mumbai teachers, Konkan graduates and Nashik teacher constituency of the legislature's upper house. The ruling alliance partners in Maharashtra, BJP and Shiv Sena are clashing in the Mumbai graduates, Kokan graduates and Mumbai teachers constituencies. Besides the Nationalist Congress Party, the NCP, People Peasants Workers Party and the Lok Bharati Party are also in the fray for four seats, making it a tough contest for all the candidates. In Mumbai graduates' seat, Amit Mehta of BJP is pitted against Shiv Sena's Vilas Portness. Congress and NCP have extended their support to PWP candidate Rajendra Korde, where a total of 14 candidates are contesting. In Mumbai teachers' constituencies, sitting MLC Kapil Patil of Lok Bharati Party is facing a tough challenge from BJP's Anil Deshmukh and Shiv Sena Shivaji Shenge. In the Kokan graduate seat, sitting MLC Niranjan Daukare will take on Sena's. In the Nashik teachers' constituency, BJP's Aniket Patil, son of former Union Minister and Congress leader Vijay Patil, is pitted against 23 independents. The NCP is supporting independent candidate Sandeep Bedse in teacher's constituency. Only a full-time teacher in an, at least a secondary school or higher is eligible to vote. The counting of votes will be done on June 28. That's it then in this edition of Metro Scan from Mumbai. We'll be back tomorrow evening with more updates from the commercial capital. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.